Boruto chapter 71 is kind of an interesting chapter because in this chapter we were kind of waiting to see what full power ko can do and as usual ko disappoints us once again in this boreville chapter i've never seen a villain get packed up so quick right after they get their big bad power up and it is really disappointing that ko with eyes limiters got packed up quite quick by damon and it was really a letdown because we didn't really get to see any more of Code's abilities. Did Code get some new powers or anything like that? So it seems that like with Code with his limiters just gets nothing. And it was kind of disappointing to see Code go out like that. But I think now Code is on his mission to sort of become an Osuski and, you know, cultivate the divine tree and all those things. Damon is pretty much saying that it doesn't matter how strong Code gets, that he'll pretty much be anybody, even any Osuski that even tries to come near Ada and will forever be her knight. And, you know, Code is now on this journey to get the divine tree and do all that kind of stuff and determine if he really loves her or if he wants to kill her. So that's all that mumble jumbo going on in this chapter. And it was pretty much a fighting chapter with a little bit of reveals from Amato and reveals from Bug, you know, giving us some more insight on Damon's powers. And it's come to light that Damon can only reflect abilities when he's touching somebody. This sort of remains consistent, and I'm not sure this remains consistent to when Damon approach that group of people when he was first introduced i need to go back and find which chapter that was but this idea that damon needs to touch somebody to reflect their killing intent back at them sort of remains true so i guess that's kind of cool as sort of his weakness i guess if you really wanted to be damon you could just like shoot something at him i guess but it seems like damon and ada are sort of the perfect pair and that's why they're so unbeatable when they're together but i think the real trick to beating damon is going to be separating him from ada and then isolating him that way Boruto and Kawaki can take him out that way. So even without the whole killing of 10 ability, Damon is still pretty strong because there was moments in this fight when he's fighting Code to where he didn't even need to reflect any abilities at him. He just purely outclassed them in every single way. So who cares if Damon cannot reflect any sort of killing intent at the person? He's still 10 times stronger than they are. So I found that to be very interesting. But in this chapter, going back to the beginning, Code is about to kill Amato, but then Amato starts talking like he usually does. And Amato was able to convince Ada that it's in the best interest that Amato works alongside Ada and works alongside a Hidden Leaf Village. That way he can get closer to Kawaki and things like that. I find it very interesting that in none of these chapters, it seems like Amato is even affected by Ada's ability. And I sort of had this theory that Amato was potentially Ada's father, but I think I can even further go on and create another idea that maybe just Amato is immune to it because he simply created Ada and it would make no sense for him to be vulnerable to something that he created himself. So I think that's kind of what's going on with Ada's abilities there. But yeah, Amato is pretty much saying that they should work alongside the Hidden Leaf Village and he's going to be a sort of negotiator between the two parties and getting them to work alongside of each other. The big issue with that is Ada's ability, she can't really turn it off or it on. So maybe a model has some way to do that for Ada, but as it stands right now, even if they do join within Leaf Village, it's going to be sort of a liability because Ada is just going to make people infatuated for no matter what. So that is definitely going to be a problem in the future. But we actually learn in this chapter that Amato actually has something on Kawaki to where he can shut him down in case he gets reckless. And I kind of figured Amato was going to do this because there's people like Kasu and Koji that already have these codes into them. And I was wondering, like, doesn't it make sense that Kawaki would have something like this on him? Would it make sense that Code would have something like this on him? But no, apparently Kawaki did not have a code on him because Jigen forbid it because it was his pure and pride vessel. So I guess that's the reason to why Kawaki didn't have it on him before, but once Amato re-put the karma back onto him, he put that feature onto Kawaki. So very interesting that Amato is now leveraging Kawaki in that sense. I think this is where we get into my idea to where Amato is going to have to control Kawaki for some reason and use him for his evil plans in the future. Amato even confirms that Kawaki's karma is vital for his future plans. No idea what that could be because that can go into a whole bunch of different directions, but it is strange that he needs Kawaki's karma for whatever he's planning to do. Maybe it's some sort of resurrection to a certain body or something like that, but Amato has something planned with Kawaki. This chapter was, you know, pretty much fighting and a little bit of dialogue here and there. I don't think we got too many big reveals in this chapter. We do know that now Code is with Bug and Bug got taken by Code um, as he was fleeing the fight. And it seems like Code may potentially, what I'm thinking here is that 
he might want to revive some more of those old car members that were locked away i think there might be some more people that were sort of locked away in that bug may know where they are right so we kind of had to wait and see to see what Cole's going to do Cole did say he's going to destroy a hidden leaf village which it makes sense if that in the first episode is what happens right after Cole does that and then fast forward Kwaki and Boris are fighting for some reason I don't know but there are some hints and clues to what Cole may potentially do but yeah very interesting chapter there wasn't really too much to go off of we are not getting a chapter 72 next month. The Borsa manga is going on a hiatus for a whole entire month, which is absolutely crazy because this manga goes so slow sometimes. So you guys, you're gonna have to wait a whole month for Borsa chapter 72 and we're not gonna be getting it anytime soon. So in the meantime, it's gonna be a lot of theory videos, a lot of Naruto videos, things like that. But short of a short chapter, hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think about Borsa chapter 71. And let's make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to join the Discord. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Safe. Safe. Safe.